continuing the story of the Ardu server. We have the Ardu server, which is at some specific physical location in the world. We have a web page that the Ardu server serves to the internet. Anyone in the world can access this web page and find out about the Ardu server and control the Ardu server. There are sensors on the Ardu server. There's a temperature sensor and at the moment 22.5, warm it up a little bit, refresh the page and we find the temperature is higher now. It was 22 before. There's a photo sensor. The reading on the photo sensor is 2 at the moment. Brings more light to it. Refresh the page. Was reading 2. Now it's reading 111. There's a photo sensor that reads the brightness of the LED. So you can tell from a distance whether the LED has been turned on or not. Change the LED, clicking on, clicking off, and the reading from the sensor watching the LED changes. All of this is easily done, not very expensive equipment. We do have to master some internet things. All of the details, including the program code for the uh, Teensy, you can also use it in an Arduino, are available. If you go to arduserver.com, that tells you about the Ardu server. This connects you to the Ardu server. That's repeated at arduserver.com. At this point, you can stop listening. Um, but there are some fine points, some uh, fine print. Uh, none of these issues are deal breakers, uh, but the things that you should know about. All of this is something a hobbyist can do perfectly well. They're explained uh, for you at arduserver.com. Uh, the Teensy costs $16. The Wiz 820 uh, Ethernet module costs $20, and then there's the $6 uh, Shield PCB. Uh, you need some very, very basic soldering skills. You need a few bits and pieces, LEDs, sensors. You need to be, uh, you, you need to understand dynamic DNS. Uh, bit scary at first, but perfectly manageable. You need to put the Ardu server on a static address on your LAN, but by the magic of dynamic DNS, you do not need a static internet address. Did you notice my two little cheats? I said this was a photo sensor watching the LED. Well, I lied. Um, that is an opto-isolator, also known as an opto-coupler. Inside there's an LED shining on a photosensor, but it's all in a little package. Uh, it's the, the two elements are in a cave, hidden away from daylight. This LED, in fact, is merely telling us what the LED inside the opto-isolator is doing. Uh, it's, a, it's a visual thing. It doesn't have any effect on the phototransistor, the photosensor that measures what happens when I turn the LED on and off. Um, that's the first cheat. Uh, the second one is hard to explain. It's, it's probably not a big deal. I hope you don't think it's a big deal. But it's not rocket science. This number here is in fact what the LED was before the last change. So if I turn the LED on now, this goes to 1 because a moment ago the LED was off and when the LED is off that's a slow number, low number. I turn the LED off and now we see the reading that the phototransistor was making just before I turned the LED off. Turn it on, that changes. You can tell something's happened to the LED. Turn it off, that changes. You can tell something happened to the LED. Turn it off twice in a row and the number changes. You wouldn't think it should do, because 
the state of the LED hasn't changed. But this is now caught up with the actual present state of the LED, but only by coincidence. It's off now. It was off a moment ago. That's saying off. Turn it on. Doesn't immediately tell us it's on. Click it a second time. And now we can see that it was on a moment ago. A bit of a cheat. You try revising the code. Speaking of which, all of the uh, code for programming the Teensy or an Arduino is available. Go to arduserver.com, look for the bit about Arduserver 3. That's this particular Arduserver. Um, there's other information on that page about similar projects. And I hope you find it useful and enjoyable. A little bit of feedback. Um, uh, I wouldn't mind if you clicked like for this or for arduserver.com or any of my pages. Uh, would f the feedback would be um, appreciated. Uh, it's a lot of work to put these things together and I sometimes wonder if anybody reads them. Thank you.